South Korea's fifth biggest company is in deep trouble in China, a country that contributes about 30% of its total revenue, after agreeing last month to provide land it owns outside Seoul for the US de to deploy an advanced and controversial anti-ballistic missile system. Food and retail giant Lotte is caught up in the grip of a backlash from Chinese authorities, hackers, consumers and business partners alike in its biggest overseas market. Lotte Duty Free recently said a cyber attack using Chinese internet protocol addresses had crashed its website. There have been reports of protests outside Lotte stores and a widespread boycott of its products. Partners have pulled its merchandise and closed its online outlets. Local authorities have also ordered some Lotte stores to shut, citing fire safety concerns. Diplomatic relations between China and South Korea have nosedived over the issue of the Terminal High Altitude Air Defense Anti-Ballistic Missile System, or THAAD. Seoul and Washington contend it is for defense against North Korea, but Beijing views THAAD as a security threat, arguing that its powerful radars can penetrate Chinese territory. In a statement to Global Times, a Communist Party-affiliated newspaper, Lotte recently said it has no choice in the matter, as the land deal was a political decision. But with China's state media calling for a boycott of all South Korean goods and services, the reaction against Lotte looks set to widen, badly squeezing sales of South Korean holidays, vehicles, smartphones and cosmetics. Thank you.